Good morning, folks. That plasma filament down south didn't wait very long before releasing. We saw him come in yesterday. Now say goodbye. Eruption will not impact Earth. We've got a new ultraviolet view of Mars from the MAVEN mission. Pretty good look there. And the link is posted for you below in the description. By the way, those two big quakes we hit on timing, but not location yesterday, one of them was forecast by Stephen Shaw and Hook Echo of the observers in the comment section of October 16th's video. Space weather continues to be interesting as the low sunspot number and benign magnetism have set the solar flaring on a flat line over the last day. But as we come to spaceweathernews.com, we see that the sun didn't need flares to erupt. A small filament near the most central active region ripped away, leaving a solar tsunami in its wake. Soho has been lagging behind, so we only see the first part of the ejection heading north. The Earth-side eruption is confirmed on Stereo A, however, we cannot tell if there is an Earth-directed portion there either. When Soho updates later today, we will post another analysis at spaceweathernews.com. A solar wind here, showing the crest and decline of the current coronal hole stream, and folks, I'm not sure if we should expect another one. It's very possible that the twin equatorial streams combined and Discover caught the leading wave of the second one, sort of a ghost in the stream otherwise. And while geomagnetism is reverberating only, both Karuna and GOES 13's magnetometer show tremendous disruptions at that exact time. Happened to GOES 15 this morning as well in blue. By the way, that small equatorial coronal hole coming in now is the northern patch extending south. You see up top the dark northern system re-entering the disk. Top news? Remember this story from last spring? Well, a bit of confirmation as a new study finds no dim binary companion to TRAPPIST-1, and we're closer to confirming three habitable planets around one star. Tomorrow, the ESA's ExoMars will touch down. Much more info over at their site. Best of luck in the landing. And last but not least, folks, it turns out that while climate scientists have focused on electromagnetic radiative light in the EUV and X-ray spectrum, they've missed the vastly larger kinetic energy component of CMEs. Observers, interpret this paper on point about space weather threshold events, which have been entirely ignored by every climate model, which is one of the reasons they can't accurately forecast temperatures. We're going to update that CME that might have come off the Earth-facing side of the sun last night could have one coming our way but right now we've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close it is just about 5 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone